The Big 12 goes 0 for Thursday. Ray Crawford here with Jordan Cornett and JC with the Iowa State and Baylor loss. It's the first time we've had teams seated as high from the same conference losing their opening game in the same tournament. Throw in the loss by Texas and you sit back and wonder, have we overrated the Big 12 this year? Yeah, you hate to put everything that a team's done throughout an entire season on one game in a tournament, but I got to say I'm surprised. You look at Iowa State, you look at Baylor, a lot of people thought these were Final Four contenders, so to lay an egg like that is pretty surprising. Texas, I thought they had a pretty good fight, although offensively questioned the execution, not dumping it down low. But they at least kept it close with the Butler team. A lot of people thought Butler would skate by on that one. Really disappointed in this Texas team all season long. Thought I'd have them as a preseason Final Four. Never lived up to expectations. Baylor gave up a 12-point lead. Iowa State, with all the expectations, a lot of folks, as you mentioned, had them penciled in to the Final Four. I lean toward that Cyclones loss as the most surprising. What do you think? You and the rest of America. I mean, yeah. That was a true bracket buster for a lot of people. This is a UAB team that finished fourth in the Conference USA, 19-15 on the regular season. Again, I thought Iowa State had a favorable path to get to the Final Four, having to eventually maybe beat a Gonzaga team and a Duke team. But with how high-powered that offense, George Niang I thought would carry this team. He laid an egg in one of his final games in a Cyclones uniform. Disappointing finish for this team. Now up to Kansas, West Virginia, Oklahoma, and Oklahoma State to carry the Big 12. Still plenty of teams left. Here. That's right. We're previewing <laughs> each matchup as they materialize. Who's got next? Presented by Xfinity on Campus Insiders.